I work as a museum educator at the National Museum of Mexican Art. And for today's art lesson, we will be sugar painting. Now, this lesson was inspired by a piece that we have in our permanent collection called Yellow, Green, Blue. And this piece was created by Gunther Gerso, who was an artist that was born in Mexico City on June 17, 1915. Gunther Gerso often used uh, several techniques, different materials to help create an abstract look within his paintings. So today we are going to be mimicking that type of style uh, of, of material as well as this abstract uh, geometric look that he was so well known for. So today to mimic that we will be using sugar and paint and water to create this type of look. The first step of the lesson would be to have a watercolor paper, preferably, or something that's hard stock because I, we will be putting a lot of water and liquid material on top of it, so we want to make sure that the paper doesn't break or begin to ripple and warp. Uh, and to also help prevent that, what I recommend is putting tape around your piece, so like a painter's tape or gaffer's tape. Uh, this will prevent from the paper bending and rippling. And so you want to make sure that it's very that it's sealed tight onto the paper. The next step of the process would be to boil one part water and two parts sugar with a pan on top of the stove, or you can also do it in the microwave. Uh, once you've had that mixture, I would I recommend letting it cool down, and you're going to have a, a thick liquid consistency. And once you have that, you're going to begin to put a thin layer of the mixture onto the paper. Now once you have put a thin layer of the liquid mixture on top of your paper, you are then going to use watercolors, a cup of water, and a brush for the next part. Now dunking your brush into the water, you're going to grab some paint and grab more water. The trick is to make sure that you have a lot of water on your brush. And you can do a mixture of dropping paint on it. So once you begin painting, you can use your own techniques. You can uh, brush, you can create shapes, patterns. Uh, in, in this instance, I am creating something more along the lines of one of Gunther Gersel's paintings where he would use geometric shapes, squares, so squares, rectangles to create his art piece. To create his art pieces. again for joining us. Again, my name is Kaylin and I work as a museum educator at the National Museum of Mexican Art. Uh, saludos and have a good day.